Make sure you complete all of the methods in this video to fix your Wi-Fi disconnecting problem. For the first method, we're going to head over to search and we're going to type in settings, then we're going to click on enter. Once you're on it, we're going to head over to network and internet. For me, it says ethernet, for you it might say Wi-Fi. No matter what it says, either ethernet or Wi-Fi, we're going to click on it. And then we're going to change our network profile type to private. For the second method, we're going to head over to search and type in run. Once the run box appears, we're going to type in devmgmt.msc and click on enter. Once we're on device manager, we're going to expand network adapters and then we're going to look for real tech. Everything that says real tech, we're going to right click on it, head over to properties. Then we're going to head over to power management and we're going to make sure that these both are unchecked and click on OK. Do that for every real tech that you have. For the third method, we're going to head over to search and type in edit power plan. Click on it. Once we're on it, we're going to click on change advanced power settings. And then we're going to expand wireless adapter settings. Then we're going to open up power saving mode. Make sure that the setting is switched on to maximum performance and then click on apply and OK. For the next method, we're going to head over to search and type in run. Then we're going to type in services.msc. Once this opens up, we're going to scroll down to the very bottom. And then we're going to find WWAN auto config. We're going to right click on it, head over to properties, and then make sure that the startup type is on automatic and then click on OK. Once you do that, we're going to right click on it again and then click on start. For the next method, we're going to head over to search and type in CMD, then we're going to run it as administrator. Then we're going to click on yes. Now we're going to reset the network. We're going to type in NETSH space INT space IP space reset and click on enter, which will reset your network. The next method, we're going to try using a Google DNS. Head over to search and type in view network connections. Once you're on this, for you it might say Wi-Fi, for me it says Ethernet, whichever one it says, we're going to right click on it, head over to properties. Then we're going to click on Internet Protocol version 4. And we're going to make sure that use the following DNS server is ticked and we're going to make the first line 8888 and then for the second line 8844 and then click on OK. For the next method, we're going to right click on the start icon, then we're going to head over to device manager. Once we're on it, we're going to head over to network adapters, we're going to expand it. Then we're going to update everything that says real tech. We're going to right click on it, head over to update driver, and then click on search automatically for drivers. For the last method, we're going to head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. Then you want to make sure that you download and install all of the updates that you may have. This could fix all of the Wi-Fi issues that you're experiencing. Once you update everything and you complete all of the methods in the video, we're going to restart the computer. Make sure you click on restart, don't shut down, click on restart. 